I never did this before. I never put together a list of my top albums. So I ha- actually had to go through like my entire collection, look online to see if I wasn't missing anything. And it's kind of interesting to me to see my favorites here. So we're going to share that with you. All right, here we go. Underground, underground hip hop top 20 favorite albums by the B-Shine. Favorite here. All right, coming in at 20 in 2008, all the way from Minneapolis, Minnesota, we have Atmosphere with the Lucy Ford LP. This was one of the earliest albums that I listened to when I started really getting into, um, no, it had to be before 2008. It was before that. One of the first hip hop albums. Mm -hmm. All right, number 19 from Oakland, California, 2000, Foreign Legion, Kidnapper Van Beats to Rock While Bike Stealing. So Foreign Legion is um, Prozac, DJ Design, and Peter Parker, I believe. The yeah, ADA, no, I'm not, not, not a lot of people. So there's going to be a few of these that not a lot of people know about. But I'm just going to say Oakland, California, Foreign Legion, super dope. Even Prozac Turner's doing new stuff now. So um, find him on Instagram. All right, number 18, 2002, coming out of New York State, Cage with Movies for the Blind. Cult classic. Any Cage fan loves that. I was listening to his even earlier stuff. There was this like unofficial mixtape called like For Your Box. It had a song called like And So Kitties, like similarly around that like Stanley Kubrick theme. Love Cage, love Cage. All right, here we go. Number 17, this is a Ruckus Records release from 1999. We have Faro Manch from Queens with Internal Affairs. That was like, Faro Manch is um, one, one of a kind. Oh, sure. One of a kind, superstar. Mm-hmm. All right, here's an un, here's a, here's a un, um, underappreciated album. Shy town again, Fresh Out Chicago, 2006, we have Rhyme Fest with Blue Collar. Rhyme Fest made an incredible album with that one. Of course, the beats there. He got a guest feature from Kanye. Doesn't matter. The album's great. All right. Super obscure right now. Number 15 from Providence, Rhode Island, 2006. We have Clockworks with the album Microchips. So Clockworks made up of Ams Uno and Fest One from uh, Rhode Island. And I only know this because I went to college at the University of Rhode Island. So I, I met this guy who on campus who had a ruckus records um, like backpack. And I just went up to him. I'm like, hey man, I like that backpack. Whatever, you listen to that kind of music? He's like, yeah. And we were in the same like geology class and we became friends and he was, he was involved in the Rhode Island local hip hop scene. Mm-hmm. And then I just found so much Rhode Island hip hop that's incredible. And mm. some of that's on this list. His name was, uh, was Paradox at the time. He goes by Docs, mm. rapper slash producer from Providence. All right, here we go. Coming in at 14 from Newark, New Jersey, Brick City. We have two, in 2000, The Outsiders with the Nightlife EP. You know that one? Ooh. I know of The Outsiders, but yeah, no. Pace one. Pace one, and I only, you know what? I only bought the Nightlife EP at the Tunes store because I looked in the back and it had a feature from Eminem. That's the only reason I bought it. And I ended up, I didn't, actually, I didn't even like the Eminem feature on it. It was on, um, I don't know, he's like, what? You want me to stop here? Rush your click. Whatever. The, the other songs are incredible. So I became a fan of them because they had the feature. All right. 2000, we have Los Angeles, California, number 13, Jurassic 5 with Quality Control. Great album. Fantastic. Number 12, I know you know this one, coming out of Park Slope, Brooklyn, 2005, Pumpkinhead, mm-hmm. Orange Moon over Brooklyn. Mm-hmm. In Incredible album. That's the reason I have this tattoo right here. Oh, wow. It's the orange moon over Brooklyn. Wow, dope. Very <laughs> dope. Yeah, so um, rest in peace, PH. PH. Um, orange moon over Brooklyn. Classic, classic album. Rock on, grenades. 
Um, love that album so much. Eastern Connecticut in the place. We got 2006 Apathy, Eastern Philosophy. Now, this is like his like 10th album or something like that. Or, you know, he's done so much work. But um, Eastern Philosophy is incredible. Um, I like Apathy's work, but this is the one that has the most amount of like um, great beat selection and rhymes that just really connect with me. So shout out to Apathy. All right, coming in at number 10, um, another Providence, Rhode Island one. This is a... um, a group mate of Docs who I met on campus, um, 2006 Reason with Gemini Slang. Um, so this entire album was produced by my friend Docs, and Reason is a local rapper in Rhode Island, in Rhode Island that just absolutely like made this classic album that I had on repeat for a very long time when I first heard it. Um, so shout out to Reason, shout out to Poorly Drawn People is the name of the crew. Um, check them out. Their music is available on Bandcamp. You can get it for free download or like donate. All right. 2002, number nine, uh, another Rhode Island, Sage Francis, okay. per- personal journals. Now, Sage Francis is like a master wordsmith. Um, just incredible personal journals. Climb trees. If you never heard that, you will love it. Personal journalist. Um, yeah. Check out Sage Francis. Here we go. Straight out of Philadelphia by way of New York City in Alphabet City, we had 1999, the high and mighty home field advantage. They did some crazy shit like the Eastern Conference. Mr. Eon and DJ Mighty Mai, shout out to Milo. Um, This is a classic. This is the only, they had dope, a very dope verse feature from Eminem Mm -hmm. and a very dope feature from Cage, two different songs, In Outs and The Last Hit. But it's literally the only album that ever had both of them on the same project. Mm -hmm. So shout out, hi and mighty. Um, Number seven, 2002, Oakland, California, Blackalicious with Blazing Arrow. Rest in peace, Gift of Gab. But this album is phenomenal. Check out Blackalicious. The only reason I heard of Blackalicious was because when I first moved into the dorms at University of Rhode Island, there was a bumper sticker that someone put on one of the doors in the dorm room. So I saw this bumper sticker that said Blackalicious, and I didn't know what it was. I thought it was like some black power movement or something like that. (laughs) But I ended up checking it out, and Gift of Gab, one of the greatest MCs of all time. 2000, Los Angeles, California, Dilated Peoples, The Platform. Anyone into underground hip hop loves dilated people, whatever you call it, backpacker, conscious, whatever. They were super dope. Shout out to Evidence, Rock of Irish Science, DJ Babu. All right, 2006 from KCMO, Kansas City, Missouri. We have Tech Nine with Ever Ready. Tech Nine had some good albums before this, but Ever Ready, hands down, my favorite one. Had this on repeat for a very long time. Um, coming in at 2003. Number four, from Brooklyn, New York, Lewis Logic with Cinematic. This one, I don't know if you heard this one, but Lewis Logic. I have so much history with with some of these people. (laughs) Me and Sage Francis battled. I toured with Lewis Logic. I've opened for MOP many times. But go ahead, keep going. Sure, we're we're almost done this list. Yeah, so Cinematic is just, like, absolutely incredible. Love this album. Shout out to Lou. All right, number three, coming in. I mean, got to give it to the high and mighty. They're the only one that had two albums on this list. 2001, Smut Peddlers with Porn Again. So that's the high and mighty with Cage. Eon and Cage rapping, Milo on the beats, Porn Again. Actually, they had some commentary with Beetlejuice doing some of the skits. Incredible, incredible album. Love that album. Love Milo's Beats. All right, 2002, we have Canarsie, Brooklyn. Um, Number two, nonfiction, The Future Is Now. So I don't know how much there's there's a lot to say about that, but that's Ill Bill, Sabak, Red, Gore-Tex, DJ Eclipse. Mm Mm-hmm. 
phenomenal, phenomenal. I bought this on the, there was a campus store at the top of uh, campus that had all underground hip hop selections. I remember buying this and it was on repeat nonstop. Speaking of which, number one favorite underground hip hop album of all time for me, 2003, another Minneapolis, Minnesota veteran, Brother Ali, Shadows on the Sun. Incredible. So how I heard of Brother Ali is I went to a show in Providence. It's crazy that all of my college experience got me so exposed to this. Um, I went to see a show. It was like, I think it was supposed to be Atmosphere with Odd Jobs and Prime and Brother Ali. But I only went because I wanted to see Atmosphere. And it was at this place called like Century Lounge. And Prime goes on and I'm like, oh, I heard of him. He was dope. He was on the Mole Men Project. I was like, that was dope. And this dude, Brother Ali, this big, big albino dude comes out on stage. Mm. And I had never heard of him at all. He comes out stay, uh, comes out on stage beatboxing like crazy, hard drums, beatboxing, sick. And then he raps and he's rapping these song, rapping from these songs from, I think it was Shadows on, on the Sun at the time. And dude, it was one of the very few, like there's probably less than five, maybe three times where I've seen a live show that just like blew me away. And I was like, I need this person's music. And that was Brother Ali. So Brother Ali, um, his stage performance, what, you know, made me a lifelong fan. 